Welcome back to Bradenton. I'm Aslan. He is Corey. It's War Chant TV, day two of camp here at IMG Academy. First off, let's just go ahead and let everybody know we're standing side by side. It was the most talked about thing on the internet yesterday, Corey. You it, standing a pace behind yeah, me? It was yeah. kind of weird, I'll be honest with you, but I like turning around and talking to someone. It's not creepy at all. <laughs> all right. So we only got about uh, 10 minutes of observation period today mm -hmm. uh, when Florida State practice <clears throat> out here at IMG Academy, but uh, you were able to kind of maybe glean some information people at home might want to know. Yeah, you know, DJ Matthews was out in uh, full pads and looked to be going you know we didn't see any of the one-on-one -on -one stuff but he went through the receivers drills with the other receivers and looked good to me like he was as fast and quick as any of them so that was good to see uh, Marvin Wilson is back out he's been kind of working out a little bit with the D tackles but today it looked like at least in the drills we saw he was going full bore with all of them uh, got a couple good job Marvin's from Odell which is always big Huge. Um, Cole Minshew didn't see out there so uh, along with the, uh, all the injured guys weren't out there today so We'll, we'll, we'll see what his prognosis is, uh, I guess, later in the week. Okay, let's step it up from quote of the day to theme of the day, which has been the theme of the camp, which has been the theme of the Willie Taggart era, and that's uh, good vibes. Is the bonding stuff important coming away from camp for, or from campus for a week to be here, the bonding, and can you talk about how important that is? Uh, that's definitely important. Uh, your team is supposed to always be together, and I feel like uh, a little bit last year we were a little separated, but this year we, the more you want, the more you're together, the more you play for each other, I feel like. So uh, we're, we're coming together a lot, and, and you'll see that. Do you think like Coach Taggart and Coach Kelly have a better idea of, of who you are as a young man? Oh, yes, actually. I love those dudes and I just met them. Like they really understand who I am and where I come from so I can relate to those guys more. Willie mentioned it yesterday, the, the whole recruiting aspect of this might be a little bit overinflated in terms of what the fans are thinking, but the whole aspect of bringing them together down here, it, it could potentially pay dividends. Yeah, I mean, like I wrote my column that's on War Chant right now. Check you know, out. remember how Remember the Titans, they came together at their camp. I never saw Remember the Titans. I mean, that's crazy. I'm sorry. That's craziness. Sorry. But they all came together at the camp. Once they ran through that Civil War battlefield, they were as one. And there's not Civil War battlefields around here at IMG. They're good. But I do think uh, getting away from everything, just being on your own at a camp like this, like the NFL and some high school teams do, it's good for them. And it is good for bonding. And I just do think that, you know, Nooney talked about it, but. Uh, you know, they, I think they relate to this staff a little better. I, I just do. I, you know, I think David Kelly is a, is kind of a grandfather to these guys. It seems like, and he's he says a lot of wise stuff out there on the practice field. And I just think that they feel they feel like they can they can relate to these guys. They like them, and uh, we'll see how it plays out on Saturdays. Right. Let's swap out one cool thing from yesterday for uh, what I'm going to call Oro one rep observations. Like you know how. Uh, Drake says OVO, and I think he does that. I don't okay. know what it means. We're going to ORO, like one rep observations. All right. Like you said, Marvin Wilson, there was a rep that the uh, defensive linemen, defensive tackles were doing against a dummy where they had to sort of shed and then rip. Right. Everybody was kind of struggling. DeMarcus Christmas steps up, and then Odell gives him like a stay low, but did pretty good. Then Marvin comes right after him, and he got it. He got a good, good. Yeah. So Marvin Wilson getting props. And then in the offensive line drills, they were doing something coming out of the pins, out of that little sort of, you know, hut they're in or whatever. I don't know how you really call it. The, yeah, you know, they the, have this, it's almost like a trampoline. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Jawan, I think the whole point of it was that you had to get your eyes up coming out right. of your, your blocks um, because it's 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 going to the second level on a block. Jawan Williams came out great, and, and Greg Fry gave him a good, good attaboy, Jawan. So there that you was go. good to see. There and then go. again, these are one rep observations, folks. So don't get like too hot takey on this. And then I saw Cam McDonald, the tight end from Long Beach Poly. He looked really smooth. He's he's another tight end, but it's a wide receiver, uh, pretty much. It looks like in terms of his body and the right. way he can move. Uh, however, again, he was like the fourth tight end to go. So there's a lot of good guys in front of him. So don't uh, start any sort of a uh, Mackey Award uh, Right, campaign. he's not on the watch list yet. But Walt Bell, we talked to him before practice, and he Cam McDonald was one of the first names he mentioned when I asked what kind of what freshmen have been standing out. And I will tell you guys, and we'll probably be writing on this kid soon. I don't know how we can't. But the guy that always gets mentioned by everyone good about guys. the freshmen, is Keyshawn Helton, number 20, who was kind of the the lowest rated, I think, yeah. of the wide receivers they brought in, was kind of one of the guys that, the, that, that came in late, that they got in on late. Um, I don't think he was offered by the previous staff, but Willie and David Kelly really liked him, and apparently he is just impressing everyone. Again, we're nine days into camp or whatever it is, but that guy's, uh, you know, they all talk about him and talk about him glowingly. Right. And then before we go, one of the biggest stories, I guess, in college football outside of Tallahassee and, and obviously the Ohio State thing, but is what's going on in Maryland with their head coach, C.J. Durkin, being placed on administrative leave after an internal investigation that's going on, maybe with some culture problems they're having at Maryland. Walt Bell uh, came from Maryland. You asked him a question, I guess, in terms of, uh, I don't know, maybe his, his tenure there or what he's thinking about how, how news is circulating. Yeah, and you program. guys can watch the video. Uh, I did ask him what he what was the culture like when he was there for two years because he was the OC. And if you haven't read the stories, it, it, it paints a pretty dire picture of what it was like, you know, making fun of kids, forcing them to eat. 
because they were too fat, making them eat candy bars in front of their um, in front of their teammates. But more than anything, a young man passed away tragically, and the the thought is is that he was worked to death, and that the training staff wasn't on site to help like they should have been. Anyway, so I asked Walt Bell about that, and you know he said a lot by not saying much, and I can understand why he'd be vague in a situation like that. It's an investigation that's still ongoing. It is a guy that hired him for his first OC job, um, Power 5 OC job. So you don't want to like, you know, if he saw awful stuff, he probably wouldn't tell us anyway. But just watch that video and see how he talks about this place. And he only really talked, not this place, IMG. I mean, Florida, we're not here. I meant Florida State. How he talks about Florida State and what he's not saying about Maryland by how much he's talking about Florida State and what Florida State is like. I think that's that's pretty telling about maybe what kind of culture was in College Park the last couple of years. All right. Uh, are you going to hashtag do something for Warchant.com? I'm going to sweat. Okay. I'm I don't gonna, know if you can I'm tell. I'm not going to touch your head this Please time. Please don't. Please don't. But, uh, yeah, it's it's still hot here. Um, and, yeah, I'll write. I'll probably write something. So you're welcome, folks. All right, cool. He's Corey Maslow. Thanks for watching. We'll catch up with you later.